Welcome to the Branson Woodwind Shop. A couple weeks ago I asked you for questions that you might have about band instrument repair and several of you responded. I did not know what kind of questions you were going to ask, but most of you asked questions about specific repairs of an instrument that you have that you want to repair. And there are also a few questions about band instrument repair in general. So I'm going to split up the videos. I'm going to make two videos. The first one is going to be about the band instrument repair in general. And the second one will be about your specific questions about how to fix your instruments. The first question is, I'd like to know if you have an inspection routine, some kind of a checklist that you go through when inspecting an instrument before repairing it. The answer is, yes I do. It's in my head though, I do not have it written out on a piece of paper. When a customer comes in, I ask them what is wrong with the instrument, and if they know and they tell me, then I'll look for that problem, and then I'll usually go around the instrument and see if there's anything else. On brass instruments, of course, I check the valves and the slides and see if they're working freely. And I check for broken braces, and also I check for dents or anything else that might be wrong with it. And on the woodwind instruments, I check the pads and the corks. I push down the keys and see if anything sounds wrong. And then I go through the instrument and I check for adjustments. And I check for anything else that is obviously wrong with the instrument. And if I find anything, I'll make a note of it. A lot of times I miss things the first time, but then I find it when I'm working on it on the bench. And then I'll fix it there. Usually when I see an instrument and I see one thing wrong with it, I know that there's probably more wrong with it somewhere else. And if I look hard enough, I can probably find more that's wrong with it. The next question is from Richmond in South Africa. And he says, I want to repair brass, but my problem is that I cannot find the tools to repair here in my country. So can you recommend which company that I can trust that they will ship me the repair tools? The first one I would suggest is Freeze Tools. They make all kinds of band instrument repair tools and they are in the United States and they ship worldwide. I'm sure that shipping to South Africa would be very expensive, especially for heavy tools, but I believe they do send them there. They are a good company. Most of their tools are very well built and strong and they will last you a lifetime. There are other companies that sell band instrument repair tools also. I did a video one time on how to find band instrument repair tools. I will leave a link for that video in the description below. And in that video are several other companies that sell band instrument repair tools and supplies. The next question, I am looking into becoming an instrument repairman and I'm wondering how you would recommend getting into it. I have seen that there are some schools for repair, but would they be worth it? If I just go directly to an apprenticeship, should I do it at a chain music store with a repair department or a standalone repair shop? My suggestion is if you can go to college, do it. If you cannot do that, the second best way is do an apprenticeship. In answer to your question, is it worth it? Yes, it is worth it. It is not that expensive. And if you have the time to go to college, I suggest that you do it. If not, an apprenticeship will work. You will probably have to look around at several different music stores before you find someone who wants to take on an apprentice. One way of doing that is to find a job at a music store that you want to work for and get a job there doing anything and work really hard and do a good job and let them know that you're interested in repair and probably pretty soon they will want you repairing instruments. There are always a lot of instruments that need work and if you do a good job they're going to want you fixing instruments. I don't think it really matters if it's a chain store or if it's a small local store that you want to work for. Just find one that you want to work for and then you pursue them. You can ask if they want to do an apprenticeship with you or not, but usually they will say no, they don't. But if they know you and they know you do good work, they will want you fixing instruments for them and then they will teach you. The next question is, here in Brazil, the art of repairing instruments is very restricted and difficult to access. I have already tried and offered to work for free, but nobody is willing to teach. If anyone is watching from Brazil, leave a comment below and let us know more about this. 
I found that very interesting. I've heard from a lot of different countries since I started doing this channel and of course I'm from the United States so I know what's going on in the United States. I do not know that much about what is going on in band instrument repair in other countries. And if any of you guys have insight into that, let me know what country you're from and let me know what band instrument repair is like in your country. You can leave a comment in the comments below. So I think that what I would suggest is to find your own instruments that you can buy and then repair your own instruments and then sell them. And by doing that, you're going to get better and more skilled. And also keep watching the YouTube videos. And I would suggest becoming a member of NAPBERT, which stands for the National Association of Professional Band Instrument Repair Technicians. I will put the link to them in the description below. And also, I would suggest if you can do this, I know it's difficult for a lot of people, uh, visit the United States and visit music stores and ask questions when you're there and you're welcome to stop by my music store if you would like to.